Hello fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I introduce you to this high level, extremely hard to understand book. The Book Thief by Marcus Zuzak. It's, yeah, it's a real good book. So it's about Lisa Meminga. And as you might not know, the narrator is Death. No, his name is not Death. He is the Death. He's death. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it makes sense once you read it. He's he's death. He or she, whatever. He's death. Uh, so it's about death telling the story of Lisa Meminga, uh, a German girl who who has lived through the the terrorism of Hitler, kind of. Um, yeah, and it's really complicated. So it's basically about her. Like loving books and stealing them, whatever it isn't so bad actually. She she actually she um so her 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 mother was taken away by Hitler. I think she was a communist or something, and I don't know why that's bad for Hitler, but you know you gotta search it up on the internet or something. And yeah, so she has to um move to a new foster family. And they are really nice. Rosa Huberman, who calls everyone the A word. I mean, there's a lot of cussing in this book, so it's not really recommended for kids. I know, it has the, you know, the A whole thing, and there's, well, every and everything, you know, the cuss words, and so not really recommended for kids, but still readable. If you try to ignore the terribly a lot parts of cussing, and everyone, uh, and Rosa Huberman, with her cardboard lips, calls everyone she is fond of um, the a whole word. Yep, and Papa, as she calls him, is um, Hans Huberman, and the foster father is rather nice. And he plays the accordion, and he loves cigarettes. The book goes on, and and a bit is about Max Vandenberg, a Jew, and Hans Huberman had kept uh, uh he had promised something about um by helping helping Max Vandenberg's family, and yeah. So they kept the Jew that was outlawed at that time at their basement, and the world went on. And Max Vandenberg had to had to live, leave, and one day, um, Lisa Meminga, the the main character, started to write the book thief. And this whole story is about death, um, reading out the story of the book thief. And with a plus with his own seeings, like I mean, seriously, he didn't see everything Lisa, Lisa Meminger saw. So, so he didn't see everything because he had to go to other countries and pick up the dead and whatever. I don't understand that part at all. And, yep, I don't know how a per how an immortal being can do that and do like take billions of lives at once. Because every like two seconds, like millions of people dies, and you know what I mean. Yep. And yeah, really, really confusing, rather, but still good book. At the end, it ends with everyone dying, all the main characters, by the bombing of the army of the Germans, and Liesel Memringer is saved by this book, actually. You see, she was in her in the basement writing in her little book, and then the bombing started, and every, and and she fell asleep with her book in the basement, and everyone died except her, in the whole street, and the may and she lived with the mayor and the mayor's wife for a little while, for a while, and yeah. And the book ends with Liesl Meminger, who had lived through all the horrible things, dying, and she was the kind who accepted death and went went with death. 
as equals and was willing. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm ready now. I'm, it's not that I don't want to go, mind you, but I can go anytime. Kind of like that. That's what da Death said anyway, or at least very close to what I just said. And it ends with Death handing Liesl Memminger her lost book, The Book Thief, originally in, in, in a black notebook. And yeah, and indeed, the book ends with Lisa Meminger with death and death giving her the book that she had written. And finally, death tells a little secret. The la a last note from your narrator. I am haunted by humans. And that's it. It's kind of hard to believe that the author managed to create a character such as Death. You have to understand life and death and a lot of philosophy before you can even write about the deep stuff. I mean, I can't even write that. I mean, I don't know how he, he replicated the Death's feeling almost exactly that you would imagine Death would think like. And yeah, I mean, Death is a little too sarcastic for his own good, personally, in this book. But still, it's almost like a living replica of what we imagine as Death. Except, of course, he doesn't carry a sickle. He actually mentioned it and said the pictures of him with a sickle kind of amuses him. And it's a really great book to read, but maybe not recommended for you till you pass you're like in middle school and like always your book buster are in the book buster